Hey Nick, how's it going? Good, thanks. Hey, um, the other day I was watching some YouTube R Nicky Mouse. You know it? Oh yeah, I've seen. What's those. going on with those? Boy, especially the ones at the top of the rock store. That last corner, I've been to that right? corner a million times. You have too, and and uh, shows riders running wide in the corner. That one uh, hit bicyclist. I mean, it's a it's a lot of drama up there, and it gets us back to why we're here at Indy Motorsports Ranch today. We shared one of the core values of uh, riding a motorcycle well, which are in our champions' habits. And that was 100 points of grip. But the second thing we want to talk about, and that is in this video, is a, is a core principle of riding well, uh, certainly of our school. And that is a, a pretty simple equation, radius equals miles per hour. So here's what we did. We put Mark on a motorcycle. And uh, what, what were you doing out there? Nick, my job was to go run one radius. Wasn't a speed thing. Bottom of second gear on my FC10. Uh, I set one radius, one throttle setting, one lean angle. Very good. Uh, lean angle is risk, so it's one, running one risk level. And Mark, you're running that lean angle, you're running that lean angle because you might have been brand new and, and afraid to lean over any further. It might have been raining and, and tires don't have the grip. The 100 points of grip went 100, down. 100 points of grip <laughs> was down. Uh, might have been on a bike that drags its pipes and you couldn't, literally couldn't lean over any right. further. So you were set in your radius at one throttle setting. And when we say maintenance or neutral throttle, what does that mean? To me, it, it tells me I'm not accelerating or deaccelerating. I'm holding an even throttle, Very maintenance good. throttle. Good, and we'll see. As Mark held his speed, his radius stayed the exact same. Right, no drama. Yeah. So then I jumped in the picture and what did I do to you? You told me to accelerate. So we added energy to that equation and immediately my radius opened. I did hold the same lean angle, but the bike went into a wider circle. And boy, that, that inherently we know this, all, all riders know this, but they've been taught some weird things. So Mark, we watched you accelerate and did you think about your swing arm angle changing to have your bike steer better? Or did you think about this very simple equation, radius equals miles per hour? Radius equals miles per hour. I'm not trying to think about my whole geometry of the motorcycle and what's going on there. Again, radius equals miles per hour is gonna be in my priority list. So I know that if I open the throttle, the thing wants to go wider. So now we're getting to the core values in our sport. And certainly the way we teach it, the way the best riders in the world ride, mm -hmm. you can't truly accelerate your motorcycle, truly pick up mile an hour. And I mean, you can go, you can pick up a little mid corner, but truly accelerate your motorcycle until two things happen. What are you thinking now? The two things that have to happen. I've got to be able to see my exit mm. and take away lean angle take away risk. See my exit take away lean angle. So you can see as the riders get into the videos that our Nicky Mouse shot, they get mid corner. They can't see the exit yet. The corner's not opened up yet, Right. but they're adding throttle. And what does their bike do? Washes out. Runs wide, washes out, loses grip. It washes out because they add lean angle points as they add throttle points, 100 right. points of grip. Go back right. to that video. If you didn't watch that one, watch it closely or radius is mile an hour. And we saw your bike run wide, just like it would have the rock store because you accelerated with the plan for your bike to run right. wide. Right, I could have tried to add lean angle mm -hmm. to that equation. Gotta show up your spine, everybody. He's gonna add lean angle as he adds throttle. Ride a dirt bike and do that. Pick yourself up out of the dirt, dust yourself <laughs> off, and realize that that's not gonna work uh, for very long. So that was great, Mark. We got a good feel for that. Uh, then we got you back into your circle. We got you back into your corner. Yep. How much throttle were you using to hold your radius again? Neutral, Neutral maintenance throttle. throttle. And how long will you use that? until I'm happy with my speed and direction. So we got you back in your circle, and then I gave you another a prompt. What, right. did, what did I say, what did you do? This time you wanted me to take the energy out, so deaccelerate. So what I did for our example was I pulled in the clutch and came off throttle and used no brakes. So the thing deaccelerated, we slowed down, and finally came to a tighter circle. It did tighten up. So you slow your motorcycle to tighten your radius, Yes. At the same lean angle. That's the secret. That's what I did. Your mid corner downhill right hander, traffic coming, and the corner tightens up. Right. And you slowed your motorcycle to tighten your radius. Right. That's what I showed you. But Nick, it didn't work very well. I wasn't as pleased as I wanted to be with it. I left out of control. I want to be able to use my brakes. Now we're getting to it, and if you're if you're sitting there going, man, these guys are crazy, they're gonna use their brakes in the middle of the corner, you gotta get back to our 100 points of grip uh, and how we pick up brakes and how we right. practice the brake light initiative and all those things. So Mark, you were mid-corner, you saw the corner tightening up, you rolled off the throttle, and you picked up some brakes, front and or rear. Correct. Depending on wheelbases and skills, and how, what percentage of brakes do you think you picked up? Just a few points. So the bike steered very easily. 
One of the core values that'll, that'll have you a fantastic rider is realizing radius is mile an hour. Mm-hmm. As Mark uh, approaches the corner, he go, rolls off, goes to the brakes when he gets nervous. And Mark, you slow your bike with the brakes how far? Uh, 33% right. of the corner given the apex divided by the length of the... I go out with a tape measure before each ride and there make sure go. I that know is... exactly what all these dimensions no, are. No, you don't. Sarcasm. I, I break sarcasm. I break till I'm happy with my speed and direction. I'm sorry? I break till I'm happy with my speed and direction. Let's let's go back to that 100 points of grip video. So Mark rolls off the throttle onto the brakes when he gets nervous, he picks up his brake pressure and he turns the bike in with the brakes. He gives away braking points as he adds lean angle points. He's trailing off brake mm-hmm. pressure as he adds lean angle. If he's holding lean angle because he's happy, he stays with the brakes, holds the brakes, that's fine. And you use them till you're happy with your speed and direction. Right. So you come down to the corner, you got your brakes on lightly as much as you need to, turn it in, when you're happy with your speed and direction, you come off the brakes, you go back to neutral throttle, you hold your radius until when? Till I can see the exit and take away lean angle. Drive it off. <laughs> Next corner. Next turn. On the brakes, you turn it in, happy with speed and direction, go to neutral throttle, there's the exit, drive it off. Next corner, two stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Use the brakes, go to neutral, and drive the thing off, and you get to the top of the canyon having the time of your life. Right. What Mark showed here on the on the motorcycle is one of those core basic uh, uh, priorities we're going to put right at the top of riders. Right. Think about 100 points of grip, vision, focus, and, and radius equals miles per hour. And you start to ride your motorcycle based on this. You start to adjust your speed for the corner radius as opposed to hoping the corner matches your speed. Ride the bike the way it was designed to be ridden by the expert rider who designed it. An expert rider does understand radius is a mile an hour. And then right. a, a, an expert rider does realize the tire's got a limited amount of grip to visible between brake pressure, lean angle, and throttle. And as we get this, these ideas across to more people, all boats rise as the tide rises, right. realizing this very simple equation, but important equation. Here's a question for you, Mark. You're an expert lever rider, a two-time number one plate holder in Colorado. Where is radius equals miles per hour in your priority level in, in your riding? Nick, radius equals miles per hour at the very top of it. I'm always thinking about it and, it, and it goes both ways, whether I'm trying to match the radius to my mile per hour or whether I'm trying to work the mile per hour to match a radius, I'm still thinking about it. When you just close your throttle in radius equals miles per hour in the parking lot, how well did it work? It didn't work that well until I went to the brakes, right? Mark, we put a cone to tell you where to get off the brakes. And this wasn't your choice, this was our choice. Right. And this was because uh, we believed uh, in straight line braking, get all your braking done before you turn in the corner, which are, which are things that I know our viewers have heard before are being taught out there. And how did the first one go? When I had to give up the brakes, it felt like I was just a passenger. I was along for the ride. If I didn't have a cone there, what would you have liked to do? I'm gonna brake till I'm happy with my speed and direction. So I'm gonna trail off the brake as I add lean angle. And that's and the st- next one. Stay in that control. Perfect, and that's the next one we look at. And we watch how long Mark uses his brake light down in the corner. And what we're trying to get away from is that rote way of riding a motorcycle. Do all your braking in a straight line, right, to right. Brake, let the brakes off here. Remember, we're gonna to go to the brakes when we get nervous, but we're gonna use them until we're happy with our speed and direction. So Mark, you came down, down toward the corner and you rolled off the throttle because you realize okay I've got to bring my speed down you picked up a little bit of brake lever right and where you did that was pretty much dependent on your judgment of the speed in the corner whether you were getting a little bit nervous about the speed in the corner you picked up your brakes but how far did you use your brakes I used them till I was happy with my speed and direction this is a big part of radius equals miles per hour if we bring our mile an hour down a little bit too slow into the corner we're not hurt Nobody right. gets hurt. Right. And if the corner tightens up, we can continue to bring that mile an hour down. So uh, Mark is not gonna let go of his brakes, which are his speed control and his geometry control until he's happy with his speed and direction. And, and we all realize, okay, I've gotta be smooth on the throttle, I gotta be smooth on the brakes. But we're adding into everybody's priorities that we've gotta steer the bike smoothly as well. Because right. Mark, you're counting on trailing brake pressure into the corner. So you don't wanna upset that contact patch right. getting back to the 100 points of grip. I don't wanna shock the chassis and I don't wanna surprise the tire. Instead of uh, having Mark brake to a point and get off the brakes at a point, which is being taught out there, we had Mark use the brakes at least happy to speed and direction. If we turn the canyon around, we get to the top of the canyon, have breakfast, we're heading back down the canyon, are we using less brakes or more brakes riding down the canyon? More brakes going downhill. Right. We're so loading when, the tire. 
There we go. When we roll off going up the hill, that radius mile an hour works well because we just roll off, the road's coming into the bike, the bike slows better. Going down the canyon, add brakes. I would say 100% more brakes. I used twice as much brakes going down, down the right, canyon right. as up the canyon because radius is mile an hour and we can keep adjusting our speed to that. You know, Mark, it gets, we were talking about videos, uh, about the Rockstar videos, but this gets back to the Will Ferrell video on Saturday Night Live, more oh. cowbell. Oh, more remember cowbell, that, for more sure. Cowbell. Come on, more cowbell, come on. You know what we're saying? We're saying more brake light. We gotta see right. more brake light in the sport. We've got to see more brake light on the street, more brake light. Affect your speed to adjust your radius by getting that brake light on. Absolutely. How about we do one more? All right. How about this? How about we put a passenger on the back with you? I can't wait. Okay. What, what did you do to adjust all that? Well, Nick, you gave me all these issues. What you didn't take away was my ability to use the brakes. I was able to use that control, keep the geometry set, keep my contact patch on the front tire at the 100 points of grip where I wanted it to be, and maneuver through your, all your issues. As your mile an hour came down, what, is your radi what did your radius do? My radius can then get tighter and tighter. In each case, he came in the corner, he had his component in place, his brake light was on, he left that brake light on, his radius tightened up, he went to the inside of all those issues. And whether it's a gravel in your lane, which we hear a lot, whatever the deal is. So I wanna say thanks for uh, not giving me all those issues when you told me to get off the brake at the cone. Well, I wanna say <laughs> as the passenger, thank you right back for understanding this priority of Champions Riding School. This technique, this idea, this radius equals miles per hour core principle that Yamaha Champions School works so hard on, this is what will make happy riders, fun breakfasts, successful, healthy street riders, championship winning road racers, and it will grow our industry. Grow our industry.